After the Hellenistic and later the Roman conquest, the economic center of gravity of the Greco-Roman Empire is to be found on the eastern shores of the Mediterranean. Wheat, for instance, came from Egypt. Now this holds good for intellectual life as well. Greek culture uh, in this period of time is scarcely to be found in Greece any longer. The great minds of ancient culture are not Europeans, not even Greeks, let alone Romans, with some exceptions. They stem, from the mo for the most part, from the Near East. Let us take it as example the philosophers of the Hellenistic world after the two giants, Plato, an Athenian, and Aristotle, a Macedonian. To be sure, Epicurus is an Athenian, but Zeno, the founder of the Stoic school, hails from Kition in Cyprus. The second scholar of the Stoic school, Cleanthus, was from Assus in western Turkey. And the third, Chrysippus, from Souls in Cilicia, which is in present-day Turkey as well. Posidonius hailed from Apamea in northern Syria. And Antiochus, who had Cicero and Varro among his students, was born in Ascalon, now Ashkelon, in Israel. The leader of the so-called Middle Platonism is Nemesius, who hailed from Apamea too. Plotinus was a Greek from Egypt. His disciple, biographer, and editor Porphyry is a Phoenician from Tyr, whose Semitic name probably was Malchus, or something like that, the king. Iamblichus hails from Chalcis, which is now Kynasrin, near Aleppo. The name of the great commentator on Aristotle, Syrianus, speaks for itself. And in the same way, the name of the last Neoplatonic philosopher, Damascus. The writings ascribed to Hermes Trismegistus, do they belong to philosophy, properly speaking? Well, it wouldn't be that sanguine. Anyway, they were put together in Egypt around the second century of our era, and some betray an Egyptian influence. In the field of science, well, I must again mention the philosopher Posidonius, who was a universal scientist. The physician Galen hails from Pergamon, in the eastern part of present-day Turkey. The botanist and pharmacologist Dioscorides from Anazarba in Cilicia, again in present-day Turkey, but in the southern part of it. The astronomer, astrologer, astrologer and geographer Ptolemy hails from Alexandria together with a geometer, Diophantus. In Roman law, among the five most authoritative legal scholars, Gaius and Paulus are of unknown origin. I forget them. And Modestinus, Modestinus was probably a Dalmatian in present day Croatia. But Pepinian was a relative of Julia Domna, one of the Syrian princesses, and Ulpian had Tyrian ancestors. In the Near East, the school of Beirut, the school of Roman law of Beirut, was active till an earthquake destroyed the city in 551. In religion, the Eastern mystery cults that flooded Rome came from Syria, and among them Christianity, came from Palestine, Paul from Tarsus in eastern Anatolia. Judaism had its centers in its Palestinian cradle, to be sure. But in Mesopotamia, too, the more authoritative Talmud, the more of, of, of the two Talmuds, a compilation that got its definitive shape around 500, is the Babylonian one, elaborated in the academies of Sura and Pumbedita, both in Iraq. The church fathers that helped shape Christian dogma were born and educated in the Near East, in Egypt, such as Origen, Athanasius, and later Cyril. 
in Anatolia, such as the three Cappadocians, Gregory of Nazianzus, Basil of Caesarea, and his brother, Gregory of Nyssa, or in Syria, such as Nemesius of Emesa, which is now Homs. In all this story, the Latin West remains negligible, and it remains so for many centuries. As a matter of course, Latin writers, historians, and poets hailed from Latin-speaking countries. But philosophical and theological thought was hardly a match against the richness of the Greek East. The attempt at writing philosophy in Latin, launched by Lucretius and Cicero, and later revived by Seneca, was short-lived. Latin had to wait for the church fathers to become again the carrier of deep thought. Among them, Augustine deserves pride of place. Yet, higher intellectual life in the Latin West remained rather an exception 